Chase was my friend. She is a national treasure. She was like a fairy godmother. Maybe it was the homemade Creole cooking, the welcoming spirit, or the feeling of safety. But during a time when whites and blacks couldn't be seen together, Leah Chase created a space where everyone had a seat at the table. And the law in Louisiana was that blacks and whites could not meet together and certainly not eat together. Chase didn't care. Her friends say she would make her own rules as long as it was the right thing to do. She shared her passion of cooking with anyone. That's why her restaurant, Dookie Chase, became a safe haven for blacks and whites to meet during the civil rights movement. Now, she was breaking the law, but, you know, they had to eat somewhere, and she took the chance. Sybil Morial was a longtime friend of Chase. Yeah. Dukies was a frequent date spot with her late husband, Ernest Dutch Morial, who was the first black mayor of New Orleans. She recalls stories of civil rights leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. and the team of black and white attorneys who ended segregation in public schools with Brown versus Board of Education, all meeting at Dukies in a private room upstairs. I don't know if, you know, law enforcement knew or if they ignored it or maybe privately they supported it. She gave people who were in that movement uh, a safe haven and also fed them. Clerk of First City Court Austin Badon is close with the Chase family. Her role in the civil rights movement should not be underestimated. Because in the 50s and 60s that warm meal together was a big deal for civil rights activists. Feel secure and also to, you know, have a good hot meal. Even years later, Chase created a place for black artists. In a time where museums wouldn't accept work from an African-American artist, Chase gave them a space. She liked our art and she wanted to show it, and she had the wall space to show it. Clifton Webb is one of the many artists whose work is inside Dukies. After a while, we could say, where can you go to see black art? And you could say, you go to Dookie Chase. She just did it. She did it because it was the right thing to do. She lived by the motto that her father actually taught her, and that was to work, pray, and to take care of others. A lifetime of working, praying, and taking care of others. That's what Leah Chase did, and that's what she'll be remembered for. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.